Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the culmination of the uh, previous three videos in the form of this. What is this? Well, many of you probably already know, these three were sold in a set, and they were sold in a set for a reason. They are a combiner. Yes. CicadaCon, Ramhorn, and C-Clamp form a super robot known as Tripredicus. He was one of two combiners in Beast Wars, that, the only two that really ever existed. Tripredicus and Magnaboss, Magnaboss being his maximal counterpart that was composed of an elephant, a lion, and an eagle. I think Tripredicus is much more interesting. So, on with the review. As you saw in the previous three videos, these are the weapons for C-Clamp, Cicadacon, and Ramhorn. And as I mentioned in one of them, they are meant to be used in tandem. This weapon, included the C-Clamp, can be loaded with Cicadacon's swords and plug in like so, and they can be fired as missiles, but that's not as far as it goes. They can be both plugged in here. They can be both plugged in like this. Let's just let me... Like that. And they form this thing. It's a, well, it's a missile launcher. That has swords in it. And you've got this weapon here. They both connect together to form a kind of crazy mauling weapon, I guess. Uh, it's got the, the scything action here. It looks like an arm almost, and there is a reason for that. And it opens and closes, and it shoots these projectiles. That's pretty good. Anyway, to the next part. All right, now to begin combining Tripredicus, we will start with C-Clamp. C-Clamp transforms into the lower torso. We will begin by flipping open or flipping closed these blade weapons. And we'll now open up his torso piece, retract his head, transform his lower torso back into the configuration it was during his crayfish mode, like this. And now this waist area here accordions out to create this look. And you rotate this around like this, swing this whole assembly around like this, and you may begin to see what is happening. I will flip these pieces out like this to create more range of motion and swivel these pieces around like that and like that and then begin to straighten out the arms which are now becoming the legs Tripredicus lower torso complete. On to the next piece. Next piece we have Cicadacon. Cicadacon will then become the torso. Straighten out his head. Flip this piece back. Retract his head. There. Now, we want to flip these pieces up like this and along with this center piece and flip this piece up like that. Now we want to take these pieces here which were used to free up the legs when you transformed them to robot mode 
and swing them all the way out to the side on both and then close and then have his shoulders swing all the way in as far as they'll go like this same on this side and peg this and we'll peg both of these together have his legs or have his arms joined together like that swing these pieces back down now that they are in this position like this these two halves and we see what's beginning to happen here take the waist split it apart and then hinge them up to the sides like this and well we can you start doing essentially what you did to get him in uh, you basically reverse the transformation to get the legs back into this position as they were when he was in insect mode same thing on the other side hinge everything up make sure it's all in the correct position and now he is ready for combination on to the next piece and now we have ram horn ram horn will form tripreticus's arms we will now begin the process of transforming him into the arms do as essentially the reverse of what we did to begin with fold that up covering his head lift these legs back here up and now take this horn piece that's on his thorax and pull that apart lift up this piece and now we will be able to accordion this whole assembly on his back apart so his most of his robot torso is here and the other part the back and head are here we'll begin by transforming this component flip this up and I will attempt to leave these pieces pegged in like like, like so and push in this piece here and as you do so you'll find that it is on a hinge which allows you to swivel the whole works and I just pegged these legs pieces here together as well bend these pieces down and these the whole thing will begin to sort of backflip around this rotation point and lock into place like this now take his arms move them around this way like this and you've got this assembly and bend it out like that and take this piece and leave it in this position for now you can move that up a bit and now you take this piece here which are on rails pull that apart extending those together rotate that down and we have this this component here swivel the head back around like this and you will begin to notice this is sort of this is a sort of hand now this is this is an arm and so is this a very abstract arm arm complete arm pieces now are now finished 
on to the final combination. Now to begin the combination sequence, we will connect CicadaCon with the ports here on C-clamp. You can see what's going on here. There is tabs which interlock with these tabs here. We will then begin the docking. There we go. And boom. Torso and legs are now finished. To begin the arms, we can rotate the figure around like this and untab this where the where Cicadicon's head is located. And now take the arms here and begin by seating them like this down into this into this crevice you can see here. It slides in and pushes down. Close that up. It is now secured. And you can take the back half of well the lower torso of C clamp and then plug it in to the back of Cicadacon, creating the backpack. Turning, turning him around, you now see the head, and the head locks into position here, there we go, it's in position, and then you can free it up so that he can now move his head. Tripredicus is now combined. And now we have Tripredicus completed. He is now in his combined form. And might I just say he is quite an impressive beast. An interesting color arrangement of green, purple, uh, sort of a burgundy, white, and brownish gray. And he's got some really enormous feet. Uh, so he should be able to stand quite well, although his hips are a little bit loose because this is an old figure. He was released quite a long time ago. Uh, you can see where uh, Ramhorn's head and those front legs on his rhinoceros beetle form form a sort of three-pronged claw. And uh, his robot mode torso and arms have formed a sort of very abstract looking arm which attaches to these to these uh, combined weapons to form this thing, yes. Very impressive. He's not as solid as Magnaboss, uh, but I like him more. He's more visually interesting to me. Lots of stuff are, is going on here. Um, he's got great shelf presence. He looks absolutely menacing. Look at that face. He's just... Look at that face. He is... just pissed. He's got kind of these weird cheeks going on here. But a very interesting combiner nonetheless. He's very unique. Um, there aren't very many three-man combiners around. The only other ones I can think of are Magnaboss and JRX. Um, maybe Road Caesar from Victory? But that's about it. Anyway, tell me what you think about this video. Did this work? Did this not work? Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm off.